Oh, yeah. Ladies I... and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats. Good evening, sir. This way, please. Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? Because he's so great, thinks he's straight as honest as mine. A lawyer is an honest employment, so is mine. Like me too, he acts in a double capacity. He's seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. Since we live by him. Sir, I already have. That sick word of trial comes on in the afternoon, and she hopes you will order matters so as to bring her off. As the wench is very active and industrious, you may satisfy her that I'll soften the evidence. Tom Gag, sir, is found guilty. No lazy dog. When I took him the time before, I a thousand pardons. To if he did not know uh, my apologies. This so sorry. Without reprieve, I may venture to book Poor Tom Gag. Forty pounds. Let Betty Sly know I'll save her from the transportation. So I can get more by her staying in. Betty has brought more goods into our lot to year than any five of the day. And in truth, it is a pity to lose so good a customer. If none of the gang take her on, she may, in the common course of business, leave her twelve months longer. I love to let women stay. A good sportsman always thinks the end of his life was to the free the game depends on. Besides, the other law allows us no reward. There's nothing to be got by the death of women, except our wives. Without dispute, she is a fine woman. It was to her I was obliged for my education. And to say a bold word, she has trained up more young fellows to the business than the gaming table. Truly built. My observation is fine. We and the surgeons are more beholden to you than all the profession in this So, that war, that sexual of trial, comes on in the afternoon. It's more than that to you. Boy, does not come. 
And let me friends know what I intend. Well, I love to make them easy one <laughs> But always, but it's a pleasure to be the messenger of comfort to friends and affliction. I ain't a lazy rogue by whom one can get. Hey, Tham. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. There is no danger! And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To fleece and bribe. By your command. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key, and if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge, perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain. 
Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We've booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. moment to talk ah a fellow londoner good to see i'm not the only man of means aboard rupert martin pleased to meet you haytham kenway pleasure seems we picked an excellent time to leave the city oh you didn't hear about the murder at the opera house no what happened they're still trying to sort it all out and I suspect they'll be at it for a good long while. Any word on the motive? They've ruled out robbery, so perhaps it was a business arrangement gone sour. Or something more personal. More lurid. Who knows? But I am glad to be away from it. The city grows more dangerous by the day. Are you simply taking passage? A bit of both, actually. I've been commissioned by the Royal Navy to study maritime illness. I'll be observing the crew during the journey. We have found that uh, sailors fare far better on the open seas than the rest of us. I hope to discover why that is. Well, I hope you are successful in your endeavors. As do I. Thank you for the kind words. 